Hello guys, Neopel Times here, welcome to a new video and today I'm going to be telling you about some accessories for the Apple Vision Pro. Okay, so Apple Vision Pro is actually the Apple product that includes the most accessories in the box. For sure of those sold by Apple today, but probably in history. But in this video we won't be talking about those accessories included in the box, like the polishing cloth, the extra band, the extra light seal. No, we will be uh, talking about other accessories that you can buy separately. And the first one will be the travel case for Apple Vision Pro. Now, this travel case is actually pretty good. I did do a full video review about it, you can check it probably here or here. I will just be talking in this video about some of the facts why I think you should be getting it. Out of all the things that I'm gonna be talking about in this video, this and another thing that I'll tell you are probably the top two must-get accessories. This is an Apple case but differently to iPhone cases and all that, this actually protects your device a lot. It's rugged, it's good, it's heavy, it can with support drops, don't drop it, but yeah, it's, it's really well made. Also, you want to protect your $3,500 investment, but also for traveling and even for keeping it at home. Like every time I'm home, I keep my Vision Pro in here. Uh, even if I leave it here on the table, I actually have a window here and sometimes in the morning I get light through it, like shining right up whatever I have in the table. Having the Vision Pro here, if you close the lid, they won't get hot, they won't get direct sunlight. Uh, it's very good to store whatever. If you want to store it in a drawer, you can. It's actually very good. So number one accessory thing you should get. Now it's not cheap, it's $200, but again, must get. Next up, we have the Belkin battery holder. And this accessory is good if you plan on using it at home and maybe like your pyjamas doesn't have a pocket or whatever, or you plan on going out a lot with it to do videos and try to become viral. It's actually have microfiber in here. I also did a separate video on this, so if you wanna check it out, it will be somewhere here. It has this clip, which to me is the number one reason. You also get an included strap and even a pin to pin the cable or whatever. But this for me just sold it because it's really easy to put on your pants. You can even turn this to make it face the way you want. Again, not the cheapest price, it's $50, but it's really well made. It has microfiber in here to protect your battery. It has the clip, like it's hard plastic, you can tell it has this to attach the strap. So definitely a must get. Next up is a keyboard. So it doesn't have to be the magic keyboard, but if you have one laying around from your Mac or whatever, it will be great. But definitely a keyboard is a must get accessory. Because yeah, the keyboard in the Apple Vision Pro, it's, it's okay for what it could be. But of course it's not convenient if you wanna type in a long text or whatever. But you can also connect it to the Vision Pro via Bluetooth so you don't have to rely on your Mac or whatever to have a proper keyboard. Plus when you connect it, you will get a preview of what you're typing on top of the keyboard as well as the predictive text, which is really nice touch. Now together with the keyboard, you can get a magic trackpad. However, I don't, do not happen to have one and I do not know how that will work. It can be easier to navigate through apps, that's for sure. The keyboard is for sure a must get. Now, if you have one layer around, of course, you can use that one. You can buy a second hand one, whatever. But if you want to buy the Apple one, I would say wait probably until March because we're rumored to get USB-C keyboards, of course, to comply with all the EU legislation and all that. So it will actually way, be way more convenient to get that one just because your Vision Pro are USB-C and you'll be set for the future. That's actually what I'm planning to do. So whenever I get it, you will be seeing a review here. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe. Now, the keyboard was actually the accessory that I said. There is another accessory that I say 100% buy, that was the keyboard, but I didn't remember the AirPods. Uh, get some AirPods Pro, for real. Like, if you have one, okay, of course, great. If you don't have them, also get the USB-C ones, which are not this, because, again, everything the same, it's for the future, it's easier. But, yeah, AirPods, the experience with AirPods and the Vision Pro is great. You have the head tracking, so if you turn your head and you have something playing from here, it will tune the audio so it looks like it's coming from here. It's really comfortable, like I also have the AirPods Max, but those don't actually, aren't as comfortable because you have to be fidgeting around, like this is over your head, those are over your head. I would recommend the AirPods Pro just because you have the noise cancelling and yeah, if you want to use them in public or even in your home but you're with someone else, headphones are recommended and AirPods will be the best for you. And then let's talk about a couple that I don't recommend as much. First of all, is an extra light seal. So your Vision Pro, of course, comes with a light seal. That's the one you measure for your head. 
but you can actually get separate ones from Apple website. Of course, if you have any problems with your Vision Pro, you can go the first days of owning the Vision Pro to the Apple Store, you can do a fit check, you can try different ones so you see which one is actually more comfortable for you. But if you actually live with someone and both of you want to use the, the Vision Pro, uh, the other person might need a different light seal and that's what this is for. However, as of today, I do not recommend that because as you know, Vision Pro does not have several users support. And yeah, like what's the point? Yeah, they can use the guest mode, but they have to do all the setting up every time. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not convenient for now. And also this is $200. So you probably don't want to spend that much money for that. And then for another accessory I don't recommend you getting is another battery. These are also $200, seems like everything Apple made for the Vision Pro is $200. And while it might seem a good idea to have extra batteries, there's one feature as well in the Apple Vision Pro which I don't think can be corrected with software that makes this less appealing. And that is hot swap. You cannot swap the batteries without turning on the headset so that's kind of annoying like if you're in a plane you're watching a movie then you're on a battery and you have to turn it off put this on wait for it to turn on put the movie again see where you were yeah it's it's not ideal however if you feel like it could be good for you even like not having hot swap for example yeah if you have the plane situation you at least can finish the movie <laughs> so yeah if you think you will be getting a lot of use out of it then yeah it can be good to have an extra battery. But until they don't make it hot swappable, I probably won't be getting one. Okay, so actually, you know what? I was in here editing the video and I just saw this segment and I thought of something. Uh, for the price of the extra battery, even like probably for a tenth of what an extra battery costs, you might as well buy a power bank because it will be useful for more things. You will be able to recharge the battery several times and it's just way cheaper. So if you feel like you need something, get a power bank, one that's power delivery enabled will work just fine and it will actually be more useful because it's hot swappable. So you won't need to turn the headset off to change it, you just plug it in before it runs out and you'll be set to go for a few more hours. But yeah, these were all the accessories that I think are worth considering for your Vision Pro or not. Are you planning on getting any of them? Do you have another accessory that you think is a must for the Vision Pro but I didn't include here? Please let me know down below in the comments. Also, as I mentioned, I've made separate videos about most of these products. So if you wanna see them, some of them will be at the end of the video, but others you will actually have to go back to the place where I talked about that product to find it in the card. But yeah, that's gonna be everything from me today. If you like this video, please thumbs up cause it really helps with the algorithm. And also if you loved it and want to see more like this and more Vision Pro content and more Apple content in general, you can consider subscribing. Also, if you have any questions about any of these devices or how to interact with them with Vision Pro or whatever, you can leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to answer. Lastly, follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date with everything I do, everything I post and also everything Apple in general. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.